Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with the video tutorial on C programming. To visit my channel, type www.youtube.com slash slide hunt. In this tutorial, we will learn about SciJob operator. SciJob is a compile type operator that determines the size of a variable or data types in bytes. Size of operator can be used to get the size of classes, structures, unions, and any other user-defined data types. The syntax of size of operator is first write the keyword size of and then within the parentheses specify the data types or variable name. Size of operator returns the length of a variable or data type in bytes. It is also called unary operator as it takes only one operand. Now we learn how to use size of operator in our program. So I'm going to create here an integer type variable int n. Next we find out the length of the variable. So I'm going to use here a printf statement printf length of n equal to percent d next we need to use a size of operator size of and within parenthesis specify the variable name so i'm going to write here n let's run the program compile and run as you can see here variable n takes four bytes in my computer Similarly, we can determine the length of a float or a character variable also. So I'm going to declare here float ft, then char ch. Now we printed out the length of the variable. So I'm going to copy it and paste here. I'm going to write here length of ft and here also. One thing I must say here, when you are using variable name with size of operator, then this parenthesis is optional. If you want, you can add it or if you don't want, you can remove it. As you can see here, with previous size of operator, we used parenthesis, but here I am going to remove it. But when you use a data type, then parenthesis is must. Then length of ch equal to percent d and here I'm going to write ch. Add here a new line. Here also. Let's run it. Compile and run. As you can see here, it print length of n equal to 4 because n is an integer type variable. Then length of ft equal to 4 because float takes 4 bytes and then length of ch equal to 1. We declare ch as a character type variable. That's why it takes one bytes only. The next thing is we can use here data types instead of variable name. I'm gonna write here int and here integer. Then I'm going to write here float. In case of data type parenthesis is must. So I'm gonna put here a parenthesis. And here I'm going to write float. Similarly, I'm going to write here char and here character. Let's run it. As you can see here, it shows the bytes required to store a particular data type. Integer takes 4 bytes, float takes 4 bytes, and character takes 1 byte. Next, we learn how we can use this size of operator on array. First, I'm going to delete the statements. Now, I'm going to create an integer array, int x, and the size is 5. This array will be able to store 5 integers. Next, we use here printf statement to print it out the length of the array. Printf, length of the array is percent %d here we use size of operator size of and within parenthesis specify the array name that is x let's run it 
as you can see here it print length of the array is 20 because we know a single integer takes 4 bytes and in this array we have 5 integer variables so 5 into 4 is 20 that's why it print 20 similarly you can find out the length of a float or character array also next we learn how we can find out the length of a structure using size of operator first i'm gonna define a structure struct book now i'm gonna define the member of the structure care name in pages and then float price next we create a variable of type book struct book b1 next we printed out the length of the structure printf length of the structure is percent d and here we use size of operator size of and within parenthesis specify the structure variable that is b1 let's run it compile and run as you can see here it print length of the structure is 12 let's count we know character takes 1 bytes integer takes 4 bytes and float takes 4 bytes so 1 plus 4 plus 4 which is equal to 9 but here it print 12 why because every data type in C will have alignment requirement for example, the natural alignment of integer on 32-bit machine is 4 bytes. Natural alignment of float is 4 bytes and for character is 1 byte. In C or C++, structures are used as data pack. Because of the alignment requirements of various data types, every member of structure should be naturally aligned. Let us analyze the structure declared in the program. First element is character which is 1 byte aligned followed by integer which is 4 byte aligned. If the integer element is immediately allocated after character it will start an odd address boundary. But integer aligned 4 bytes so it will store an address multiple of 4. The compiler will insert 3 padding byte after the character to ensure integer will have an address multiple of 4. So the size is 1 for character plus 3 padding bytes plus 4 for integer plus 4 for float. So the total number of bytes requirement is 12. Now the question is why padding bytes are added? Extra bytes are added for performance issue compiler make it suitable to faster read and write operation this is it hope you understand if you like this video please share it and click on the like button on youtube thank you for watching get in touch with us visit us on youtube at youtube.com slash slide hunt join us on facebook at facebook.com slash slide hunt follow us on twitter and google plus